Kim Jong Un may have a big button. And Donald Trump may have a bigger button. But we have the biggest button of them all. That was easy. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Mary Miller. And I'm Ethan Brubaker. Today is Thursday, January 4th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Perfectly timed. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll see you. <laughs> Are you ready for a challenge? Can your team build the tallest tower using only spaghetti and masking tape strong enough to hold a marshmallow on top? Here's your chance. Join us after school this Thursday, January 4th. That's today. Each team of three will be given 20 minutes to complete the challenge. Members of the team with the tallest tower get coupons redeemable for McCafe drinks. Now over to Edwin with the news. What's up, Ephrata? It's your favorite uh, news boy, Eddie C. Well, we back at it again in 2018. We're about to slam dunk this news cycle right on out of the park, so let's go. Former White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon has been in the news again recently. Bannon has reportedly stated to agents of the press that the meeting between Donald Trump's son and a Russian lawyer during the 2016 election cycle was treasonous. While the Mueller investigation is moving forward with all due haste, Trump is finding himself lacking support from his closest allies. Pro-reform protests in Iran have been met with hard reactions, not only by the government in itself, but by pro-government factions of the citizenry. The increasing of civil tensions in the nation has now left over two dozen people dead, with a possibility for increase. The worsening of the internal situation of Iran has some foreign allies on edge, namely the Houthi rebels in Yemen, Hezbollah in Lebanon and Syria, and the Palestinian Authority in Israel-Palestine, all of which rely heavily on Iran for support. It is unknown if the conflict will increase into anything as serious as a civil war, but it is known that the world's eyes are watching the old Persian Empire. On this day in history, Euro Europe became united for the first time since the 9th century by a common currency. The euro, debuting in 1999, closed at the equivalent of 1.17 US dollars at its first day. Eurocash was introduced three years later, decorated with architectural symbols and other noteworthy European designs. Today, the euro is equal to 1.21 US dollars. That's for you, Mr. Hagen. Now over to the main desk with lunch. <laughs> hey, uh, we have a hot dog on a roll. Sweet, sweet southern turkey barbecue on a whole grain roll. For meat or four cheese pizza. Turkey club on toast. Uh, crispy chicken salad. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Sauerkraut. Baked beans. Coleslaw. Toss salad. Fresh bro broccoli <laughs> or cucumbers dip. Applesauce, fresh fruit, or... That slushy! Now over to Tony with sports. There's the sports. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Wait, first, what should I just say? Just say none. Oh, just just say it's, it's me. It's me. Go figure. It's me. No, it's play. Just say instead of it, say no. Buzz. With the premiere. No, it's not the premiere's fault. It's the camera switcher. And so sports results. Good. Bowling was home versus Lebanon. <laughs> Girls basketball was home away at Eight Town. And wrestling was home versus Mannheim Central. Boys lacrosse open turf workout schedule is canceled for tonight. Attention all girls interested in playing softball. We will have open gyms on Tuesdays and Thursdays mornings starting on Tuesday, January 9th from 6.30 to 7.10 in the morning. Pitchers and catchers will also have open gym time on Tuesday and Thursday right after school in the gym. Please see Miss Coach Dumbach if you have any questions. Attention all students interested in being part of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, called FCA for short. FCA will start having huddles, Bible studies on Wednesday mornings at 7 o'clock in room 227. Please see Miss Dumbach if you have any questions. We hope to see you there. Today, Swimming is home versus Anaheim Central. And Rifle is home versus E-Town. Now back to Ethan with the main desk. Registration forms for the 2018 EAS Decoding Contest are available now in the high school main office. The third annual EAS Decoding Contest will be held in the high school cafeteria in March. This year, it's a team registration process. Sign up with your teammates on the same registration form. You must participate in teams of two or three. There are no individual entries. The, the deadline to register for the EASD coding contest is Friday, January 26th. 
see your math teacher or contact Mrs. Hooper for additional details. That's it for us, Ephrata. Bye. Have a opie-tastic day. I don't come, get it, but I bet it's funny. Team. Come watch the swim team win. Yee. We got it. Good. This is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is a playing cat lady.